tutorial i will show you how to create a presentation model so now if you are clear with uh, your bmm layer uh, uh, then uh, what you can do is you can simply use the complete bmm model directly into the presentation layer just by dragging and dropping here as you can see icon got changed to subject area so I'll tell you a simple di distinguishing between the physical layer, BMM and presentation layer. If you see here, SH is a schema. If you see the same model in BMM, we'll call it as BMM, bas uh, basically logical model. If the same thing is present in presentation, we'll call it as subject area. And this is the presentation table. This is These are the presentation columns. Uh, even though if you have uh, ID columns present in BMM layer, uh, uh, until or unless uh, business users want the ID column, you can you can go ahead and remove product ID from this column. And fact columns will still be present. And there will not be any uh, diagram for the presentation layer. One thing you need to know is uh, when you double click on this, uh, you can say you can use the columns and let's say if you want product description to be displayed, product name should be displayed at the beginning. You can use this move up button. Sorry. And click on OK. See now uh, your product name came at the beginning. One more thing is you can set the properties by using, uh, sorry, permissions by using the permissions button here. You can set the restrictions uh, for this uh, uh, table or column uh, to a particular basically user or application role. So now uh, one important thing that you need to remember is uh, the business users will only the see which, whichever the data metadata presents in the uh, presentation layer. They won't be able to see uh, BMM model or they won't be able to see physical model. So now uh, in the next in the immediate session, what I'll what we are going to do is uh, we are going to upload this rpd into obae system to see how exactly the business users will able to see the presentation like so just to revise you so this is the subject area this is the presentation column under the uh, sorry presentation table under that we have table columns and this is the fact under the fact we have two two fact measures okay now i'm going uh, so yeah here one more important thing that so before uh, you save the rpd you need to do one consistency check so what this consistency check will do so basically when you do this consistency check the tool will compare and uh, it will show you if there are any errors warning in your repository so now uh, since <laughs> This is the basic uh, model we did. Uh, we are not getting any uh, reports of errors or warnings, but just to make it inconsistent, we'll just do a small change to see how it works. Now, for example, I'll remove this join from the BMM layer and let's execute global consistency. So now here it's saying business model sales analytics is not consistent. Do you want to mark it as unavailable for queries? No. Say no or yes. See here you can see an error. Here it's saying uh, sales analytics dimension product is not joined to any other logical table and sales fact is also not joined with any logical table. So you need to go and resolve the issue then only you can upload you can ignore the warning warnings but you cannot ignore the errors so, uh, an error will make uh, your rpd inconsistent so 
by mistake or uh, by any cause uh, if you upload this rpd there are chances that uh, your oba system will go down so just make sure you check the consistency before and shortcut for consistency check is control k so now i didn't find any errors i'll just save this repository you can use the button here to save or you can use the save button from uh, save option from file menu yeah, that's it and now in the next tutorial we'll be uploading this uh, rpd into oba system and we'll see how it works parallel